Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review for Doom 2 on that Android platform. So I had a chance to finish going through the game, and overall I want to say it was a pretty good sequel to the to Doom 1, um, notably because it takes place right after the events of Doom 1 as it pre was uh, precluded to. Um, essentially the idea behind the game is that the your character as the Doom guy returns to Earth to find it overrun with the armies of Hell, and now you have to help the human population escape Earth and um, escape the basically all those demons. So the game doesn't offer anything visually different from the first game. It's basically the same look and feel that you expect from the first one, but it does offer a couple of notable changes like the double barrel shotgun over the single barrel shotgun. Um, you can still use the single barrel one if you want, but they added that weapon there. Um, and then there's a few different new demon types like the um, railgun guy, um, the archville, and a couple of others that are and I think it's called the mancubus. So things like that were added and then um, a few um, minor elements were added like a faster door opening and closing animation so from what I was reading things like that resulted in the higher system requirements of the game for the PC when it first came out but overall you if you play the first game and go right into the second one then you're kind of go you basically know exactly what you're getting into as far as the game goes so overall a good game. Um, the other notable change that they made in the game is that you're, it's not separated into chapters like the first one. There are three distinct um, levels, so to speak, in that, or sorry, uh, worlds, so to speak. So you have the spaceport to help the human race escape Earth, then followed by the city because you learn that there is a portal to um, hell that you can get to and you want to help rid Earth of all the demons. And because you're almost there and you want to close the portal, you end up going to hell to take out take out the icon of sin, which is the big final boss of the game. Um, but other than that, it's basically just one chapter into another. Um, each world is separated by a uh, end chapter scene, like you saw in the first game. But it's not really. But they don't have like the end of, or they don't have. It's not separated into chapters like you saw in the first game. Um, overall from there, the main downside that I saw in the game is I didn't find the levels to be as expansive feeling as the first one, but I did find that they were more intricate. So uh, while the levels feel smaller, it does have more mazes or maze-like capabilities, more vertical um, aspects to the game, more teleporters. So things like that make up for the worlds feeling smaller, and it felt like the worlds or the levels were more set up to be... Um, set for um death match style playback so you can go so you can play you know eight versus eight in different levels and um play along those lines so there's that kind of aspect to it but other than that i didn't really like the the levels didn't feel as big as other as the first game and also mostly because the when you are outdoors you do have the wall around the level and then the background like in the city so and then the spaceport and hell so you can see outside but you can't really so quote unquote explore the area freely like you would expect at the time it probably felt uh, vast and big but in retrospect it doesn't really work as much as you would expect but the levels themselves are well done so it kind of makes up it's not really a big complaint but you kind of feel that smaller it feels like a smaller level even though it might be the same size and there are intricacies to make it that much more difficult um but overall i did like the game it was it went by pretty quickly um the final boss as the icon of sin was an interesting choice. It, you kind of realize that there's a different hierarchy than you would have expected from the first game. So the Spider Mastermind is kind of more of a general or an admiral level boss. And then the Icon of Sin is more high ranking. Not quite the devil that one would expect, but a higher mastermind than the Spider Mastermind. So an interesting thing there. Um, and then the difficulty in defeating him is also relegated to the Death Star effect where you have to launch your missile down a two meter wide space on the Icon of Sin's head to destroy the brain and thereby destroy him in order to destroy the monsters in hell and close the portal. So overall things like that, that part was well done. It was along the lines of the final boss fight 
with the spider mastermind and do one so not a difficult level but you are defeating the final boss so they added a slight level of intricacy there so as far as recommendations i do recommend playing it and giving it a shot if you've never played it after all these years um, but yes definitely play new one first and then the second one so that the story continues throughout um and I kind of want to go in and play Doom 3 now just to see how they tie that in. I'm going to read that story to see how it all ties in with what happened with the the UAC base on Mars. But overall, things like the game was worth playing. It was enjoyable. It went by really, really, really quickly. I liked the uh, simplicity of it in the chapters and not having to worry about which chapter I was on. But... Um, that's really all there is to say about it. I mean, when you play the first game, going into this one is um, relatively straightforward, um, and I liked. I just I like that they didn't go too far with it, but I, they added enough, and the new villains kind of made the game that much more enjoyable to go through. So that's all there really is for this particular review. So. Um, the YouTube playlist is set up for all the gameplay videos, so um, you can find them at youtube.com slash patelin01, and there will be a link in the show notes so that um, you can easily get to it from your mobile device using your podcast client where you're listening to this episode. Um, if you want to provide your own feedback, thoughts, comments, and all of that, you can find me on Twitter at patelin01, and of course the website is patelin01.com for all episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.